California, 1943. Everyone knew something had to be done, and quickly. The haze called smog was getting worse. Until the mid-1950s, industrial pollution in the Bay Area went unchecked. Auto emissions were uncontrolled, and people thought nothing of burning their garbage. So in 1955, the Bay Area Air Pollution Control District was formed, and for the first time, scientists and local officials began working together to monitor and control air quality. That early agency is now called the Bay Area Air Quality Management District. And since the 50s, the Bay Area's population has more than doubled. The number of cars has tripled, and the amount of miles driven every day has increased four times. Yet the air is cleaner today than it was back then. That's the result of vigilant monitoring, aggressive enforcement, public education, and most importantly, help from people like you. Our agency serves nine counties around the Bay Area, and the Air District is the one agency you can turn to for information about air quality or to make an air quality complaint. We've been working to clean the air for decades. Spare the Air Days are well known, but the organization behind Spare the Air is not as widely known. Even though the district covers thousands of square miles, it still is responsive at the local level. The Air District's Board of Directors is made up of locally elected officials from each of the nine counties, and it's this diverse group who oversee the agency's functions. The Air District's mission is to improve air quality and protect public health. So our staff conducts inspections and tests air pollution sources. We verify compliance, investigate breakdowns, document potential violations, and respond to citizen complaints. Basically our job is to go out into the community and make sure that the equipment that is supposed to be cleaning up air pollution is working. If a facility fails a source test, we would try to remedy the situation as soon as possible. Our job is to take the information we receive about a violation and to turn it into uh, some form of action that makes it clear to the person who's violated the rules that they can't get away with it. If necessary, violators are brought before the hearing board, which has the power to order companies to comply with district regulations. The Air District also has an advisory council made up of scientists, environmentalists, transportation, and other professionals who give counsel to the board of directors and the executive officer. But perhaps the biggest impact that the agency has is in its community outreach and public education. The Air District are the people behind Spare the Air. Spare the Air is a program established by the Air District that predicts bad air days to warn those with respiratory problems that the air is expected to be unhealthy to breathe and to urge people to modify their behavior to try to keep pollution levels in check. A Spare the Air Day is one that's forecast to have high ozone levels in excess of federal health standards. Because ozone is a preventable pollutant, doing such simple things like cutting back on driving or not using gas-powered tools can make a big difference. I send out email alerts to inform our employees that the next day is going to be a Spare the Air Day. I don't use hairspray. On Spare the Air Days, I usually try to take public transit. We traded in our gas-powered lawnmower for an electric one because it's easier to use and much better for the environment. I've heard the biggest amount of car pollution happens when your car's been sitting for a while or when you start it in the morning. So we try to get all our trips in at one shot so the car doesn't sit for too long. We get email messages at my job on Spare the Air Days and I work for a very good employer who allows me to telecommute. Because bad air days are a result of many factors, including meteorological, we can predict when a spare the air day will occur. You'll know it will be a spare the air day when we issue an advisory the day before, which will be publicized through most news outlets. Tomorrow is a spare the air day. This means that emissions from cars, lawnmowers, and products like hairspray and household cleaners can contribute to higher levels of air pollution. You can also sign up for Spare the Air email notifications called Air Alerts at SpareTheAir.org. 
Most spare the air days occur between June and October, when stagnant air, hot temperatures, light winds, and a temperature inversion combine to trap air pollutants near the ground. The winter months, with cooler temperatures and reduced sunlight, diminish ozone problems. But dangerous airborne particles are a serious problem in cooler weather because the nearly two million fireplaces and wood stoves around the Bay Area are a major source of particulate matter. Another Air District program, Spare the Air Tonight, urges Bay Area residents to refrain from burning wood when the Air District predicts unhealthy air. Spare the Air days have been effective. It's estimated that with your help, over five tons of emissions have been eliminated every Spare the Air day. But controlling pollution and improving air quality is an ongoing battle. Another way you can help is by reporting possible violations when you see them. I pass by a factory on my way to work and sometimes I smell rotten eggs or burning tires, so I call 1-800-334-ODOR to report it. My son has asthma and bad air days really trigger it, so to get information on air quality, I call 1-800-HELP-AIR. When I see a car on the road with the smokes coming out of their exhaust, I call 1-800-EXHAUST so they can be notified and get their car fixed. The Air District also sponsors the Clean Air Champion Awards to honor individuals whose efforts serve as an inspiration to others. Additionally, the agency conducts ongoing educational programs in Bay Area schools and holds community meetings on air quality topics. The Air District is committed to advanced technologies that both reduce emissions and improve fuel efficiency, and also offers a grant program that awards funds to public and private entities to reduce pollution from trucks, buses, ferries, and other mobile sources. If it has to do with air quality in the Bay Area, then it has to do with us. Our goals are not only to develop policies and enforce air quality regulations, we also want to increase public awareness and demonstrate there are positive choices we all can make to improve air quality. A great first step is for everyone, especially employers, to sign up to receive email air alerts at sparetheair.org. If you'd like to find out more about what we do or how you can help, please give us a call or visit our website. Just tell them Jack sent you. To find out how you can help spare the air, call 1-800-HELP-AIR or visit the Air District's website at baaqmd.gov.